Welcome. I'm the Word Nerd, and in this video, we are going to be talking to my on-the-go setup for Bible study. So let's dig deeper. So my on-the-go setup, if you've watched my videos, you've kind of seen this before. So this is my Bible case, and uh, I'm going to take the strap off just so it's easier to show you. So I have shown this before, but my setup is different uh, than when I first got it. I think that happens with everything. You kind of find, you know, what works well for you. And so the first thing that I have is my journal. So this is, I guess, like a bullet journal. This has like my calendar stuff, my YouTube plan, um, you know, I plan things. It has some random notes in it. Uh, I keep my YouTube things. It has prayer in it. This is kind of like my catch-all journal. I, I just call it my bullet journal, more or less. Uh, it helps me plan things, and also I can use it for whatever I need. <laughs> <laughs> and then I always put that in the back so I always have that and then we get into the actual Bible case so I added the sticker that you see on top the weird nerd sticker and uh, yeah I like gray so that's why I got gray they have different options so the this front pocket I actually have my pins in. So my new fave pin I like writing with is the Pintail RSVP fine tip pin and then my other pins are the Sharpie S pins. I love those and then the Zebra Sensational colored mechanical color pencils. So those are my pins and I just stick them in the front. It's just easier to grab that way. As we get into the inside I have my old journal that I used to use for planning and things. I just migrated to my new journal. So I want to keep that one close because it still has some important information. Chapstick, because I do carry this to church with me. And my kids always need chapstick. So then I got my extra stickers that I have. And then in these little card pockets, I actually found that my uh, flags or my post-it flags... Uh, fit really well with different colors and sizes. I have some extra pens and a pencil uh, in here. Then I have my post-it notes. So I have four colors of just three by three. So it's just a normal post-it note size, three by three with uh, four different colors in here. Um, I use these for different things. It really just depends. Uh, if I have a question that I don't want to write in my notes, or something real quick to jot down. It's always handy to have it. So the Bible that I carry with me is the KJV Compact Bible by Christian Art Publishers. I love this Bible. It is awesome and it's a great size. The font is really good, um, especially if you like using KJV, uh, which I do. So I mark up things and uh, you see that uh, there's like a little note on the side and it says A1. So this is my A journal. Um, and so when I want to write a lot of notes, I put it in here. So, and I put the page number. And so this journal is connected with my Bible. And so when I move to a new Bible or when I move to a new journal, I can change that journal would be like B. So I can keep writing and using this same Bible and keep writing notes so that's how I'm doing that so in here I have my tablet stuff I normally have my charger in here but it's connected to a wall at the moment I have my stylus my glove that I wear when I write and then a little uh, rag thing to wipe down my screen because it gets dusty and then I have my tablet this is the Samsung uh, S8 plus tab I got for my birthday this year and it is awesome and uh the apps that I use is the Blue Letter Bible app, the Webster 1828 Dictionary, the Filament app, and the Logos app, or Logos app, however you want to say it. I don't have the paid version of the Logos app, but I do have the free version. It has some nice things. Merriam-Webster Dictionary, um, things like that, that Google, <laughs> things that can help you on your studying journey. And this is my on-the-go, so I bring this to church with me, but I also bring this to, like, work and on vacation and things like that. I have everything that I need to really study pretty in-depth and also to, if I want to study deeper with all my, you know, Bible study resources, commentaries, Bible studies, dictionaries, things like that, um, this gives me a framework to begin with. I can start with this and I can still go pretty deep with all of the free available 
uh, resources online and of course if you want to pay for logos that's an option uh, because you know you can get almost everything digital on that I don't want to but because I like physical things but yeah that's my on the go study so study setup so if you're hope you're inspired and encouraged and I'll see you in the next one God bless bye